All right, I haven't looked yet. Took all the bolts out. Let's hope it's not too messed up. Oh, wow. Oh, shit. It's not too bad, but if you look in there, you can't really see it, but valve guide's a little cracked. But other than that, it don't look too bad. I'm sorry, you can't see it. Don't look that bad. For having a valve, having a party in the cylinder doesn't look that bad. Except for that. Yep. Oh, piston is not. Ooh. I'm gonna gouge out of the piston. Hey guys, so I uh, picked up this golf cart today from my buddy, 2002, and he took the engine out. It's over here. Notice anything uh, unusual? Yep, one of the valves fell down. We're gonna take the head off and see if the piston's messed up and the head's messed up. Hopefully it's not too bad. Try to throw this thing back together. This is just the standard EH29C Fuji motor. However you say that. Couple of these covers are bent. I have to straighten them out. First, start by taking that off. Put the bolts back so we don't lose them. Another thing you can see is the camshaft's a little bit rusty in the rocker arms. So we're gonna have to clean them up, spray them with some PB. Hope that makes it easier. We'll take some wire. Uh, not wire brush, but uh, what do you call that stuff? I can't think of the name. We'll take the air bolts off. There's these bolts right here. Looks like they got a welded nut in the back. Makes it easy. He already took the bolts out of there. And then we put this back in. Make it a little quicker. I want to have two 
washers on it. Get the bottle cable support here. Then you get the fan trap off. Let's see. Let's down here. Take a picture. So I know where the cable went. It's always good to take pictures of it. it makes it way, way easier if you forget where something goes. I won't be using this to put it back together. Okay, there we go. Just a little bit of garbage in it. Take this last bolt out. Looks like I didn't have to take that cover off. I need to, anyways, I get over here. Let's straighten that out. Okay. To get the head off, you need to take that uh what are they called? Rocker shaft out so we can get to that bolt there. To do that, get behind this cover. Only just a couple more bolts, right? Perfect. Put them back in. Again, we don't want to lose any. Not that we don't lose them, but so we know where to go. Be able to slide this out, or we should be able to. Hmm. Oh, you know what? It's, it's resting on the lobes, that's why. Now oh, I gotta grab the gear. Where did I put that? Gotta turn the camshaft so that these aren't pushing down on the springs. So I can get the shaft out. There's the camshaft. I have to clean that all up. The two inner valves are the intake and the two outer are the exhaust, if you need to know that. All right, now we should be able to get this shaft out, maybe. <clears throat> Something else holding it. Oh, there we go. Yeah, it's coming out. It's a little groove on it. 
try pushing. That's the trick. That's what that move is there for. Perfect. That's out, we can get to that bolt. There's other head bolts right there. Right there, and there. Right. Let me buzz this head off real quick. All right, I haven't looked yet. Took all the bolts out. Let's hope that's not too messed up. Oh, wow. Shit. It's not too bad, but if you look in there, can't really see it, but valve guide's a little cracked. But other than that, it don't look too bad. I'm sorry, you can't see it. Don't look that bad. For having a valve, having a party in the cylinder doesn't look that bad. Except for that. Yep. Oh. Piston is not. Ooh. Look at the gouge out of the piston. No oh boy. Well, there's your valve. Ooh, is that stuck on the piston? So I'm gonna try uh, cleaning this up some, see how bad that gouge is. Maybe I can, I don't know, maybe I can file it down. Just, this thing's not supposed to be perfect. We're just, just gonna ride around and have fun. So, I mean, new piston's not that expensive. I think it's 50 bucks or 40 bucks on eBay, I saw, so. Yeah, as long as the cylinders aren't messed up, I think, I think we'll send it. We'll just run it. See, it spins over all the way, though. There's probably a lot of oil around. There's probably a lot of water in the wheel. It's been sitting outside. So I don't know what I want to do next. Maybe I'll drain it and uh, see if any water comes out. And if, there, if water comes out, I might have to split the piece, make sure uh, that the crank or the rods aren't all rusted up. Hopefully not. I just hope you can see. Right there you can see it sticks up actually. I can't get the camera. Hold on. It sticks up past the top of the piston. Or the, the deck. So I'll see if I can clean that piston up. Obviously, it's not that's not good. But yeah, we'll see. That's not good. Get back with you. If you take a look, 
cylinder, there's not really any crosshatch, but there's no major grooves or gouges. It's looking pretty good. Oh, yeah, there you go. You can see it. Cross hatch there. Same on that one, but see that ring around there? This engine was, when my friend bought it, it was seized. Probably just from sitting out for a little bit. So he got it unseized and he ran it for maybe, I think he said 20 minutes and then that valve fell. So I'm gonna finish cleaning this up. I'm still debating. I don't have that puller for that. For the clutch, I doubt I'm gonna get that off without that puller. So I can't split the case because you can only get a splits over here. So I'm gonna drain the oil and see what comes out of there. I'm pretty sure it's full because if you spin it over fast enough, oil, water and oil shoot up out of there. So I'm guessing it's gonna hit the dipstick. Well, let me just check it. So you guys see where that level is supposed to be. It's way down here. Let's see how far. It's probably all the way up here. Oh, yeah. Right there. <laughs> this thing's full of water. Shoot. Oh, boy. Well, like I said, let's drain it. See what comes out of it. So what I'm going to do for now is file that down. I know everybody's going, okay, put a new piston in it, put a new piston in it. I am. I will. Well, I am. I want to see if it'll run. If everything else works, I'll rebuild this engine, get new pistons, new valves. But I want to make sure everything else is dandy. So I'm just going to file this down. Of course, I ran out of brake clean too. Just don't want to hit the deck. These are probably aluminum pistons. I could probably just heat it up. Just melt it back in. Kidding. Just a little bit. Next best thing I got is uh, acetone. So if I run out, I got that. Just worried because I can't see it. I'm just a little bit worried because I think, yeah, look at that. It went all the way through. Oh man. It went all the way through the piston. You know what I'm going to do is uh, just put some, some of this on there and see if it seeps down. Get it. There. Be right back. Okay. I understand. I'm just gonna say it again. I know this is absolutely not the right thing to do. 
that I shouldn't even be doing this, I understand, but I'm gonna try. So I'm just heating it up a little bit, and I'm just gonna give it a couple taps, because I think there's a little hole that goes all the way through, down to where the, well, it wouldn't be, yeah, I guess this point would be, I don't know which way this point is. Oh, yeah, it's this way. So, I don't know, I'm just gonna tap it and see if I close that hole a little bit. I know you guys are like, what? Officially ran out of just air. Well, a little bit. If you're asking why there's so much air in it, it's still a lot of pressure. Because I uh, I refill these. I just pop that off. Take a, take an air gun with the rubber tip. Not upside down, but flip it up or have this way, uh, have it this way. Put these together and push the trigger before you push down. That way you're... After. There's even a little bit of damage. Just a tiny bit. Can't really even see it. Right there and there from the valve. But, again, I want to say this. I know this is not the right thing to do. You would never, ever want to put this back and um, put it back together and run it. So I know that, but I'm gonna do it anyways. I'm gonna do it anyways. So heat it up just a tiny bit, just just to tap it down just a little bit again. I know, but close that hole up just a tiny bit. We're gonna try it. You know, put it back together, and then here you can see oops, valve guide or the well the actual heads. Casing is messed up, it's cracked there. So there's a little burr there I'm gonna to try to clean up. And then what I'm gonna do is I, I have a brand new valve. But instead of putting this one and this one and risking it getting all messed up, I'm gonna take this intake valve and put it here and put the new one here. Because we know this valve's good and stuff like that. Well, we don't know it's good, but it's not, uh, it doesn't look like that one. So it's less of a chance, hopefully, of this uh, new valve getting messed up. Got this from Tim, nice guy. Down at, uh, I don't remember the name of it, some golf cart place. He was a little optimistic of what I was doing here, especially because of that. But I told him, I'll just do it. <laughs> I'll give it a try. But I am planning, if this, I wanna put it back in. I know it sounds like a lot of work, but I don't mind. I'm gonna put it back in. Test it out, make sure everything works on it. And then if I decide to, I'm gonna take it back out and I'll uh, I'll put new pistons in it, new rings. Um, maybe see if I can get some new covers. I'm gonna try to straighten these ones out. Open up the bottom, make sure. Uh, what I'm gonna do now, drain all the oil out. Oil, water, whatever's in it. I know there's a lot. One thing that I don't really like is there's never, never any good oil, oil, uh, oil pans. This one says it doesn't leak. It's got a cap, but of course it leaks, right? Of course. Can't make any of So we'll see what comes out of this. Jesus. Okay. There we go. Okay, I get, oh yeah, look at that. Water. Can you see it? Hold on. Screw it back in, get you closer. Straight water. Ready? Watch this. Oh, there's the 
there's the water. Oh jeez, look how much water is in it. Oh my god. Wow. Wow. That is... Dang. Watch, it's gonna change the oil, I'm gonna get covered. That's straight water. Oh, there's the oil. Of course. Jeez. Rod's probably all rusted up. Shoot. Wish there was a way I could peek in there. But I'm not even gonna try to get that clutch off because I'm not gonna get it. Heard many stories trying to get it off. You just need to buy the tool. Just the right thing to do. Well, I should be saying that because the right thing to do would be to replace the pistons, <laughs> rebuild the engine, but. Well, hopefully it doesn't throw a rod or anything. Even that doesn't look like oil. That's still water. That's not good. We'll let this drain. I can't. I gotta hold it. Drop it. Ooh. Where is the oil? <laughs> I don't think there's any oil in it. Oh. There we go. I'm shake it maybe. Tilt it. I guess I'll have to put some oil in it, run it, drain it, put some more oil in it, run it, drain it. Make sure it's, oh jeez, there's so much water is in there. Unbelievable. Quincy, you should have covered it. Well, I don't know. Should have covered it, Quincy. Well, I know you weren't going to reuse the engine anyway, so I guess, I guess you didn't care. So I, here I am trying to reuse this engine. Ooh, what is that? Oh. Oh, that's not good. It's all like sludge and metal. I think that's, is that metal? You know what? I don't think it is. I think it's just sludge. I don't think it's metal. You know what? I bet it's all clogged up. Okay, so I want to make sure it's not all rusty in there. So I drained it and I have a border scope. Tried sticking the border scope through the oil plug, but I just couldn't turn it to see up. So I thought there's an oil filter over here. So I took it off. I already took it out. Wait until you see. Oh, shoot, it fell in. There was like a big piece of sludge on this thing. But now I could see in. Oh, I wish I took that piece of sludge out because now it's inside the engine. So let's see if you can see in there at all. There's a lot of just like sludge and can you see in there? So I'm gonna get the bore scope or get my eye closer in there and see if I can see it. See if there's any rust or doesn't look oh there you go. Doesn't look too bad. I wish I uh I already brought all the used oil from other oil changes I did to the dump. I wish I still had it so I could put it in here, run it through and drain it, clean all this stuff out of it. But I just guess I'll just have to do another oil change soon. Okay, yeah. 
can see a dipstick. So let me get in there and look. Right back. Okay, so I looked in there, and it actually looks pretty good. It's just all that oil in there. So what I think we're going to do, because that piece of uh, sludge or whatever it was fell back in there. It was, it was stuck on here. I was going to show you, but, but it fell back in. So I'm going to try tipping it over. See if I can drain it out of this side. Probably gonna make a mess though. You know what I might have to do? I might have to use this one and uh, put the engine on the ground. Let's see. I should get everything out. Okay. I say that's good. Okay. Look at that. All the water runs down first. See that? It's all water. Nice, nice, nice. Check one more time. I don't know if I'm able to see. You know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna grab my air hose and see if I could blow some of the top. It's probably gonna make a mess. Let's see if I can do this all at once. Hold this my thigh and then blow in here. Got most of it. Thank God for that uh, oil filter being right there. Apparently, these oil filters are yeah, right. They don't come off. Well, I guess you could buy a whole new one. Uh, apparently, they're cleanable. So, like I said, I don't have any more. Parts cleaner or brake clean, hard clean, whatever you want to call it. I got some acetone. So I gotta find 
something. Find a little container. Put that in. Maybe a little brush. Clean off the other parts. So hold on. Okay, found something. Hopefully acetone don't. Oh, why do I gotta make these cans like that? Hopefully acetone don't melt through the plastic tub. I don't think it will. So put this in there. Make it dirty instantly. Maybe we could give it a little, blow it out a little bit. If you're gonna do that though, blow from the inside so we don't push the dirt further into the filter. So where am I gonna do that and not make a mess? I guess we could do this. Poke through there. I think that worked pretty well. Give another dip. Okay. We'll make sure there's no acetone left on it. We don't want to put that back in there. Clean the sealing surface up. Probably have to do a million oil changes to get this uh, all cleaned out inside there, get it run through. My friend said this uh, engine wasn't salvageable, but just kind of want to prove a little point. Not prove a point, but just get it to work. So I know it will. I know it'll still run. I know it not be the best for it, but till then we'll get some new pistons and rings and on the cylinders. Maybe a new head if I could find one for cheap. Okay, we'll lightly blow this blow this off. I just took a quick quick peek in there and uh looks pretty good. Warm this back up. Get a little bit of oil on there. Okay. And just put the bolts back in. Nah, I'm just kidding. Strip it out. Oh, I did drop that. Where'd that washer come from? Eh, oh well, we'll figure it out. This uh, clutch surface isn't looking that good. Take some Scotch Brite or something to it. be a long video long video I'm actually recording working instead of just kind of showing you after
course, there's a torque spec for these. I do have the manual for this thing. Found it online, free. You should probably look at it. Okay, oil filter's back on. Glad that's there. Glad I was able to take that off and look in there. <sighs> Makes me feel much better. Let's move this so we don't spill it. Yeah, just put it on the floor where I can kick it. Now, I gotta work on this, uh, this head just a little bit. And I cleaned up that, uh, hole there, or the valve guide. But it looks like we're gonna need to get one more intake valve, because wait till you see this. Here, it's a light. Wait till you see this. Look, I won't focus. Focus, you. What the heck? There, you kind of see it. What should we focus? There we go. Yeah, I don't think a valve's supposed to look like that. Look at that. That's crazy. Must have been some uh, real bad valve lash. Poor maintenance. There's a new intake valve. Here, put it side by side. Crazy. And when the other valve broke, must the valve lash must have been, you know, an inch. That's crazy. So, uh, there's the seat. Ooh. Not too big. But our intake, intake, oh, I put them in here. Not intake. Our exhaust valves, they're just dirty, but, but they still got the good, well, they're a little bit, it's like a top hat kind of shape almost. But I'll definitely get another intake valve, that's for sure. So we can't put this engine back together totally, not yet. You know what that might be? The camera might be a little dirty. I don't know, that's not it. There we go. <sighs> so I don't know what I'm gonna do yet. I guess I gotta leave the head off. Maybe I could put the engine back in the cart, but then try and tie it once it's in there. Be kind of tricky, I think. I guess I could straighten out those, those covers. Do that. Maybe let this soak in some of that uh, acetone. I'll get some brake clean tomorrow, actually. Better idea. Oh, yeah, I put some PB Blaster on this, on the can. Maybe we can clean it up, get some of the surface rust off of it. Um, yeah, let me get that cover off and straighten them out. Yeah, that's what I'm going to do. Maybe I can, I'll clean the carb, too, tonight. All right. Take this cover off. Just one more bolt, Quincy, and you could have took the cover off. You didn't have to bend it. Maybe you couldn't reach it. Oh, can you not get this off without the clutch off? Oh, I see. Oh, shoot. Oh. Wow, 
that's gonna be a pain in the ass. Maybe uh, when I go tomorrow to get the new valve, I'll just grab that puller. I don't think, I don't, online they're $20. I don't know how much this guy's gonna charge. Only if they made this, only for this side that came up. Shoot. That's all corroded in there. Okay, I take it back, Quincy. I see why you bent it. Shoot. Shoot, shoot. Yeah, we have to cut the clutch off. Oh, wait a minute. Can I sneak it? Well, I'm not going to be able to get it back in anyway. Just show you. Yeah, that's going to hit. So close, so close. What else can I do? Can't get the cover off, can't straighten it out. Clean the carb. I'm gonna clean the carb. That's what I need to do. Shoot. Alright. Yeah, better wait till I take it off and straighten that. I can't get the thing to me. You know, I gotta look up. I don't know if you can get the clutch on and off while it's in the cart. So. Yeah, that's not gonna work. Okay. Put the bolt from the cover in the magnetic tray. I'm not gonna remember which one that goes to. Back to the back. Okay, let's see what this looks like. Oh, really? Cut the fuel line too? Using the biggest screwdriver I can find. So you see that was. You know what's interesting I just noticed is the, the broken valve isn't all worn out like that. Which is interesting. Interesting.
I'm thinking if I'm gonna take that clutch off, should I just throw a new piston in it? I don't want to wait. That's the thing. You never, you never want to wait. Everyone's not patient enough. Neither am I. Yeah, that's right. I'm just gonna get another valve. Tim at the golf cart shop's not gonna like it, but. Okay. Been wiping it off for like 10 minutes now. over here. Oh, it's right there, right on the impact, of course, of course. Just want to replace those copper crush washers too. Not too bad, not too bad. Pretty clean. Careful not to strip these out. See through it. I think it's blocked. There's nothing else in there. Oh, it doesn't have an idle jet. Well, I guess because it doesn't idle. Never really idles, it'll just shut off. It's a golf cart. See, I don't have one of those ultrasonic parts clean or carb cleaners. They're not really they're not carb cleaners, but everybody uses it for that. I don't 
have one of them. So I'm just gonna blow out all the holes, take out this couple screws, blow through them. Hope they're clear. Well, that gas does not taste good. It's the shittiest gas I've ever tasted. Oh, man. Big stuff out of there. Let's cool up some acetone. Acetone does not work as well as a brake cleaner, carb clean would. It's all like uh, green. Like, like green, whatever. Whatever you would call that. Sure that the float works. Just take care. That's what I always do. Just blow on it. Hold it upright. Okay, comes out. Flip it up. Nothing comes out. Float works. And not the float, but the needle. Needle and seat. Throw the car back on. Or bowl. Again, you'd probably want to put a new copper uh, crush washer, but you know me. I try to do what I can with what I got first before I gotta go out and buy. We'll just crush it a little extra. That's all we'll do. Clean the outside of this thing too. Blowing those holes. Cover your ears. This one's the idle. Just barely fits. There we go. Come out. Yeah, 
Maybe, yeah. Uh... Surprisingly, that's not plugged up. Still give it another blow. Cover your ears. Again, another copper crush washer. Give it a little extra crush. And we're good. Yep. Blew it off a little bit on top, cleaned it up. Pretty cool. So, I think that's it for tonight. That's all we're going to do. Maybe I'll clean up the cam and the rocker, rocker shaft. Let's see how clean this is. It's not that bad. Soak it in some PB. That's what I'll do. We'll get some emery cloth tomorrow. Clean it up some more. Can't really soak it because you know what I could do? I could uh this is what I could do. Take this off. Don't wanna ah, fuck it. Okay. This is what I'll do. Paper here. Give it a nice wrap. Cool. Um, let's see how well that works. That might work. Put that we'll do the same for the rocket shaft. First, we'll wipe it off. Ooh. Paper wet. See how that works. Clean this up too. Oh, is there a gasket? Yeah, there is. Reuse that gasket. <laughs> Don't 
too bad. If it leaks, then that means we gotta get a new gasket. Again, this is my golf cart. Gonna do it the way I want. If this was someone else and I was fixing it, replace all this. Okay, like new. Like new. This is a really long video. I'm gonna close this off. All right, I think I'm done for the night. I'm calling it quits. Yep. See you guys. One quick thing is, I don't know if you'll be able to see it on camera, but if you look at this side, kind of see it's lower. Now, look at this side, you got a lot more room. So what it is, see that spring hanger? Almost vertical. On this side. flat so let's see if i can uh jack it up and see if i can push it back down and it's a bushing or something shot out of it i don't know yet i haven't looked i don't know how that how the golf carts are so i'll do that actually i'll do it tomorrow so all right go in the bed